Hello everyone, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a video about the weekly challenges in the stitching group that I am in on Facebook, which is Fandom Stitching Central. So I'm going to take you along as I do my stitching challenges for this week because I have not done them and I need to do something to make myself do them. And if I start doing a video about it, then it will like motivate me to be like, ooh, I can show them my progress as I'm doing it. So... The challenges come out Monday, it's Friday. I only have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to get these challenges done. I'm going to go over what all the challenges are and then I will show you my stitching after that. So to start with, this is week two of the stitching and it's a Lord of the Rings themed Facebook group. I think the theme for this month is Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, which is the movie. Um, I always do the white wizard tier for stitching. There's two different tiers that you can do for the weekly challenges. One of the tiers is you do 50 stitches or I think 30 minutes of stitching. The second tier is white wizard, which is 200 stitches. And then you can also do a certain amount of hours of stitching, but I don't do the hours because um, it's easier for me to count stitches because Pattern Keeper usually counts it for me for most of my projects. And when it comes to timing myself, it would be really hard because with kids, I feel like I get up and down a lot. So I would have to like stop the timer a lot because I'm interrupted. And um, for every 200 stitch challenge, it's worth four points. If you do the other tier, I think it's only one point for your stitches. And my team is Oryx. I'm team Oryx. We're not doing the best right now. I think we're like last place or second to last. I don't know. Uh, we're not doing great. We need more points. I need a stitch. Uh, anyways, the challenges for this week. Uh, the first one is a project with an animal jumping. I am doing penalty stitches and so if you don't have a project with that meets the prompt, which right now I'm really limited on what I can stitch on because I am only working on a few projects in the month of February because it's projects that I want to get finished. And so I'm going to do the penalty stitches, which means you double the stitches. So instead of 200, I will be doing 400 stitches on Persona 5. The second task is some a project that enchanted you and I picked the Red Ship of Lesser Commitment because I saw it and I fell in love with it and I fell in love with the fabric. The whole thing is just very... I'm into it. Um, the third thing is a project with a feast. I am doing penalty stitches and I'm going to use Red Ship because I really want to finish that this weekend and so it will be 400 stitches. A project with a scary theme. I picked Kita because she's holding her little spear and that's just terrifying. Like she could just cut me up. Um, so I'll be doing her. And then project number five is something with a dungeon and I don't have anything with a dungeon that is in my finish February thing. And so I'm going to do Red Ship if I still have 400 stitches left, but if I don't, then I will pull out the very Viking stitch along and try and get those 400 stitches in on that. And so that is what I will be doing. Um, I like to start off by doing the first task and working my way down. So the first task is Persona 5, which here is where Persona 5 is right now. Um, I'm working on this red color here, which is part of like his glove. And doing 400 stitches means that I should, I think, finish this color I'm working on right now, which is DMC 606. And then I will get to pick a new color. Yay! And this chart is one that I found on Sprite Stitch. Um, it linked to a different website, though. So I will have that website linked down below if you are interested in this chart or other anime gaming charts because there was other stuff on there. And so I will get stitching on this and I will be back with my update, hopefully... Hopefully it won't be too long. So, bye. I am back and I have done my 400 stitches on um, Persona 5. And I ended up finishing the first color that I was stitching on, which is the red, which is DMC 606. I just had to fill it in here. There was a little bit in his eye and then a tiny one little stitch right there. And so now I am done with that challenge. And then I started doing... DMC 939. So there's a lot of that that's mixed in with the black around him. And I started doing that, but it's not finished. I still have like 900 stitches of 939 left, but I will be doing that a different day because I am going to work on the next challenge. So I finished the first task. And then the second task, a project that enchanted me, and I picked the red ship because I fell in love with it when I saw it and had to start it right away. And here is where I am on the red ship. So I have to do 200 stitches first for the Enchanted Me uh, challenge task, 
and then I will come back to show you that and then I will do another 400 stitches for the feast one and that's 400 because it's penalty stitches so here's where I am starting and I will do the first 200 stitches down here starting because this is page three and I want to get page three finished and so I will do this and then start working here is like a ship right here and I'll do my 200 stitches in this area to get that area finished so I'll be back when I have finished those 200 stitches and here is the 200 stitches on the red ship of lesser commitment in this corner here so this corner here is done page three is almost done except for there's like a side border that I need to still stitch but I'm going to stitch the border from the top going down so that won't happen until later but so page three basically done now it's just to fill in page one up here and I need to do another 400 stitches right here for the third challenge, which is stitch on something with a feast. I'm doing the penalty stitches because I don't have a project right now with a feast, plus I really want to finish the red ship. So 400 stitches because I'm doubling the regular amount. So I'll be back to show you the 400. Hopefully I can get those 400 stitches done tonight because I am watching the new season of You, so that will keep me entertained. It makes me want to stay up. I really want to finish it. And... Uh, it's kind of disappointing they only released half of the season and then I have to wait a month for the second half, but whatever, it's fine. I'm liking the season so far. If anyone else is watching you season four, what are you thinking? And here it is, 400 stitches later. I finished the first part of season four of you. Yay, that's exciting. And I also got my 400 stitches in. I mean, I was on episode four. Four, I think the last time I filmed so I watched four then five had a little snack did my stitching and so now this task is done I'm getting so close to finishing the red ship I can't wait I'm so excited with the progress that I've made so I'm gonna cross this off red ship uh, the next one that I'm going to be doing is a chart with something scary and we're gonna say that Kita is scary because you know she's holding her spear she's looking a little angry and she can fight she is going to be my scary theme so I'll be doing 200 stitches for her and I will show you where she is starting so I still haven't put her in a hoop yet and I think that I'm going to do my stitches on her arm get her arm done and then I can also get to like her spear area. Part of the reason that I've put doing her arm off is because she's wearing a bracelet, I'm pretty sure, and it is DMC gold metallic, which is just so much fun to stitch with, not really. And so that was kind of why I was avoiding her arm, because I was like, I don't want to do metallics, but um, it's fine. I'll do it. Anyway, so I'll be back with my 200 stitches. It might not be tonight. It's still Friday night. Um, but it's getting late. It's like 11.20 now, so I don't think I'm going to do the stitches tonight. It'll pro probably be tomorrow morning when I get her stitching done, so I will see you then. I am back, and it's not Saturday like I originally said in my previous clip. It is actually Monday, which means the stitching challenges are over. They end on Sunday. So they ended yesterday, and I ended up not finishing the last two challenges. The last two challenges I was going to stitch on Kita. And I think I was going to do the very Viking stitch along for the last one. And I ended up not getting them done. I didn't stitch. So, you know, it is what it is. The weekends sometimes get busy, end up doing other things. It's fine. I ended up finishing three of the challenges, which meant that I earned a total of 12 points for my team, which is better than nothing. You know, it's better than the zero I was at on Friday. And now it is time for a new week. So I need to go and look through those challenges, see what I can do. And I might possibly film them. I'm not sure yet. But thank you anyone who watched and I will be back hopefully soon with another update or another video of challenges. I have the weekly challenges for this week to do and I haven't started the February monthly stitching challenges. So there's always that that I need to do. So I really need to get myself into gear and get stitching. So I will see you all in my next update. Bye.